asked you, you said full forms. Okay, let's see if in LCM have a look. Let's say I have two numbers, six and eight. Okay. Now six when I factorize, I get two threes are six. Eight when I factorize, I get two fours are eight. All right. I get a two common in both of these, and I say HCF of six and eight is going to be two because two is something that I can take common from both of these. Why do I say it is highest common? Because I cannot take anything more common because the remaining numbers are three and four. So any time I can write the first number as HCF into something can be the first number. Let's say n one. HCF into some other thing is a second number. So two numbers can be always expressed as H A and H B, where H is their H C F and A and B are something that do not have anything more in common. So if A and B are something that don't have anything more in common, A and B are also called as co-primes. Co-prime means two numbers that behave like prime numbers with respect to each other. For example, three and four are co-primes. They must not be primes as such. For example, four here is not a prime number, right? But they behave prime mutually. With respect to each other, they are co-primes. They are primes. Sixteen twenty-five. Sixteen has just twos in it. Twenty-five has just fives in it. Co-primes. Okay. Let's say one more example. Forty and forty-nine. Now forty has two and five, and forty-nine just has seven. This is a seven, and this is two and five. They are co-primes. You understand that? So two numbers can always be defined as H A and H B. Their H is their H C F and A and B are co-primes. Okay, always. So if these two are the numbers, what is the H C F? H. What is the L C M? You take the H C F once and multiply the rest. H A B. The H C F here in this case comes both the times, right? But you take it only once and you multiply the rest. Three and four. Two into three into four is twenty-four. That will become the L C M for these two numbers, six and eight. So what's the HCF two? What is the LCM twenty four? So how do you get the HCF H? How do you get the LCM HAB? All right. Let's say I multiply these two. HCF into LCM will become H into HAB. What is H into HAB? H square AB. What is H square AB? HA into HB. What is HA into HB? Product of numbers. So you can always say that LCM into HCF is going to be product of numbers. So in this case, we can just look, look at it again. Two and twenty-four is how much? Forty-eight, and forty-eight is nothing but six into eight. All right. So you can just multiply the HCF and LCM, and you get the multiplication of the numbers actually. Okay. And another another important concept. Okay. So I'll just redefine this. The numbers henceforth will always be HA and HB. Look at the advantage that this method has. One of the biggest advantage. Let's say I ask you to find out what is the HCF of one 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 four and let's say one one three nine. What is the HCF of these two numbers? You got to factorize them first and then do a lot of like you know, like first finding factor itself is a pain. You don't know what factors will these numbers have. So when you have these two kind of numbers, find the HCF of this number and this number. All you got to do is subtract. So try the smaller one to the larger one. You get one one three nine minus one 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 four. How much is this? Twenty five. Okay. What are the factors of twenty five? Twenty five has three factors: one, five, and twenty five. You tell me one thing. Can twenty five divide any of these two? No. Can five divide any of these two? No. So the answer is HCF is one. Keep in mind, HCF of two numbers is always a factor of the difference of two numbers. Why do you get that? Because H A and H B when subtracted, I get H common A minus B. So H C F here becomes a factor of the subtraction. You want to find out H C F of any two numbers? Subtract them. Okay. Let's try to find out the H C F of 74 and 68. I'll just subtract. What is 74 minus 68? Six. What are the factors of six? One, two, three, and six. Check for six. Can this divide six? No. Can this divide two, three? No. Can this divide two? Yes. And that will become the HCF. That's why we always start from the highest number, which is six. So we'll try finding six if it's the HCF of these two. Doesn't work. Six doesn't work because sixty-eight cannot divide six. Neither can seventy-four. However, okay. Then what do we do? Check for the next number. Next highest number is three. Three cannot be divided in sixty-eight or seventy-four either. 
So the answer is the next highest which is two, which can which can be derived by both of these. So the answer is two becomes the HCF of these two numbers. Are we clear? HCF of two numbers is always a factor of the subtraction of two numbers. I'm sorry for this. HCF of two numbers is always what? The factor of subtraction of these two numbers. Okay. So I'll repeat this. Let's say one more example. One one four seven, and let's say one one two one. Find the HCF of these two. No, one one two one for for starters. Let's give you one one two zero. Let's find the HCF of these two numbers. What are the what are the difference by the way? Twenty seven. Factor is twenty seven. I have one. I have three. I have nine, and I have twenty seven. So one, I'll have one more. One, three, nine, and twenty-seven. Correct. One, twenty-seven. Correct. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. These four factors. Can these two divide twenty-seven? No, because the sum itself is four. For division of twenty-seven, it should be at least multiple of nine. Then we can start going ahead. It is not a multiple of nine, but anyway, so doesn't matter. Can it divide nine? No. Can it divide three? No. For the same reasons, so the answer is one. So the answer of these two numbers is going to be one. Are we clear? The first type of question on HCF is going to be this. The next type, type two, on HCF and LCM can be this. Take a question. The HCF of two numbers is eight, and the LCM is two forty. HCF is eight, LCM is two forty. Find how many numbers satisfy this. How many pairs exist AB such that their HCF is eight and LCM is two forty. So start with this. How to define numbers H A and H B? Okay, so H A and H B are the numbers. In other words, A A and H B are numbers because H is the H C F. What is the L C M? H A B. So H A B is going to be two forty. So what is A B? Thirty. What are A B? A B are two numbers that are multiplied later, right? So let's find out how many ways A B can be thirty. Start. One into thirty is thirty. Then two fifteen is thirty. Three tens are thirty. Five six are thirty. Yeah. So how many numbers are possible? Four pairs are possible. You want to find the numbers? You can find the numbers also. For example, substitute A is one and B is thirty here. Okay. So what do you get? Eight as it is, and two forty. The first pair is this. How do you get the next pair? A is two and B is fifteen. What is eight twos are? Sixteen. Eight fifteens are. Difficult, right? Eight fifteen is a. It's gonna be eight into fifteen. Push the two inside. I told you four into thirty, one twenty. Next pair is this. Third pair is eight threes are twenty four and eight tens are eighty. And the last pair is eight fives are forty and eight sixes are forty eight. These are the pairs of numbers whose HCF is gonna be eight, but LCM is gonna be and LCM is gonna be two forty. Are we clear? Just find out AB and that many pairs. They will not ask you find the numbers. They will just ask you find how many pairs. So here itself, we get the answer. The answer is four pairs. Okay. Keep in mind there can be a variation here. They can ask you how many pairs, or they can ask you how many ordered pairs. When they say when they say ordered pairs, ordered means they can be flipped. So you count basically permute. You count the orders of all these. So how many orders possible? Two each. So it's going to be how many? Eight. So if you have a question that says ordered pairs. The answer is eight. If you have a question, how many pairs? The answer is four. Clear? All right. So easy. Just divide the HCF. HCF is the LCM, and you get AB, and then find out. Okay. Let's do one more question on the same type. Take it down, please. HCF of two numbers is eleven, and the LCM is two twenty. How many ordered pairs possible? How many ordered pairs possible? HCF is eleven, LCM is two twenty. What do you do? HCF is the LCM, right? What is HCF? Eleven AB is two twenty. So what is AB? Twenty. Let's find out. One twenty is a twenty. Two twenty tens are twenty, and four fives are twenty. Yes. How many pairs possible? Three pairs. But ordered six pairs. However, that's incorrect. The answer is. Four pairs, because two and ten are not allowed. Why two and ten are not allowed? I mentioned this earlier. That A and B are what? Co-primes. 
co-prems mean they shouldn't have anything in common. Two and ten have a two in common. They can give two more to the HCF, right? So they'll never make the HCF twenty. They'll in fact make the HCF as, sorry. They can never make the HCF as eleven. They'll make the HCF as eleven twos are twenty-two because they have two extra to give because both of them have a two. So A and B are two numbers that don't have anything in common. Now since you've got two tens are which has a two in common, it is not allowed. So how many are allowed? Only the first and the last one. So how many ordered pairs? Four ordered pairs are allowed. Normal pairs two is the answer. Ordered pairs four is the answer. They just ask you pairs, it's two. They ask you ordered, it's four. Normal pair क्या होता है? Pair होता है बस. एक प्योर वेज रेस्टोरेंट ऐसा हो गया. ठीक. <laughs> anyway, so pairs is two and ordered is four. Are we clear? We will not include two and ten because two and ten have further common. What is the common thing in there? Two. Okay. That's why I gave this question specifically. Got an idea of HCF and LCM completely? Yeah, that's it precisely about HCF and LCM. Okay, one question you can have an LCM is this. Let go. There are two. There are five bells. A B C D E. Five bells. 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 Okay. The first bell tolls every two seconds. The next. Three seconds, the next every four seconds, the next every five seconds, the last one every ten seconds. These are the tolling speeds. Okay. They toll together at twelve o'clock. When will they toll again together? Yeah. So now we know this guy is going to have two seconds interval. This is going to have three second interval. This is going to have four second interval. Five and ten. What are the rules? And take the LCM of these numbers. Why? I tell you. What is the LCM of these numbers? Sixty. Yeah, sixty is the LCM of these numbers. Why taking the LCM? Because the ten guy will also be at sixty. Fifth guy will also toll at sixty seconds. Everybody will toll at the same time, which is after sixty seconds. This means there has to be a multiple of all the numbers. That will be the num the total total time that you have, sixty seconds. Okay, so in sixty seconds, the two second one will toll, the three second one will toll, the four will toll, five will toll, and ten will toll. So they toll together basically how many seconds? Sixty seconds. So at what time they'll toll next time together? Twelve one p.m. Twelve one p.m. Are we clear? So in sixty seconds they will come together again. Okay. How many times? Sixty seconds. How do you get? I'll just repeat this. How do you get sixty seconds? This guy is two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. This guy will keep going like two, four, six, eight, ten. This guy will be like six, nine, twelve. This guy will be like eight, twelve, blah, 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 whatever. Five, ten, fifteen, ten, twenty, thirty. You have to find a time common in all these five columns. And the time that will come common in all these five columns is going to be sixty seconds because sixty seconds will come in this column, this column, this column, this column, and this column. What is sixty? A multiple of all, which is least common multiple. Perfect. So in 60 seconds, they'll toll again together. Okay. The question were, how much time might have they tolled together? I mean, how much time they might have tolled till 60 seconds got over? This guy would have tolled 30 times. This will be his 30th toll. This guy 20. This guy 15. This guy 10. And this guy 6. Okay. These are respective tolls when they come together. You can find that too if you want. So easy. Just divide by sixty and you go in. Okay. Yeah, precisely that's it. This yeah, this can be the only thing that can be asked you in the exam.